there uh, any improvement at all with Mountcastle? Quite a bit. Not enough to make a start, but we're hoping that uh, he's available off the bench or and uh, hopefully be able to start tomorrow. But uh, the, the, the neck feels a lot better. Do you have, uh, since Boston has uh, provided us with the starters, do you have uh, any starters? No. TBAs across the board right now. We're going to see how today goes. Last year, or even 2020 to this year? Yeah, I think all of his pitches, he's, he's improved. And uh, you know, a lot better change up, a lot better curveball slider. Um, but the command of four pitches right now uh, that he's shown so far this season has been much improved from last year. You, you have to go start last year, but his stuff is, has improved for sure. Going back to Tyler Wells last night, because you were able to stretch him as much as you did, how much farther do you think you could bump him while still wanting to monitor the innings? And could you kind of drop the, quote, tandem setup? Because last night, I guess, technically really wasn't tandem because of how you followed him. Yeah, um, I think last night's probably going to be at the max what he'll be just because he's going to be on he is on a on an innings limit for the season. So you know if he throws four or five innings, I think that's that's kind of what the goal is going to be you know for the rest of the year. And um, I thought that was great last night, uh, but five seventy two pitches. Uh, but if I go further than that, then we're going to lose him later in the year. I'd rather see him pitch a full season and, and uh, we'll go from there. With, other, with your other starters, are you now at, at the point where they're basically where they would be yeah. in a normal? Yeah, pretty close. We're at that 100 pitch range, kind of where they would be on a normal spring training in their second start. What's that for uh, we're, we're, it's, it's, a, kind of fluid. it's a fluid limit. It's a lot to do with Stressful innings. It's, there's a lot that goes into it. Yep. Are there parallels to what to the growth that you see, you're seeing in Bruce this year compared to last year, um, compared to what you saw from John Means for the first time when he really opened your eyes a few years ago? Yeah, we've talked about that. There's, yeah. a, there's, um, you know, fortunately Zim got hurt last year, and, and it, you know, got off to a good start, got hurt, tried to come back, it wasn't quite the same just because of all the layoff. Uh, but I think the, the big thing I see is the the, the changeup development. And the, able, the ability to, you know, there's so many good right-handed hitters in this division. And as a left-handed pitcher, you have to be able to pitch to both sides of the plate and then be able to throw quality off-speed stuff um, to keep them off of your fastball. And um, the changeup for Zim has been has been key. Uh, and it's been from the side, you know, from the dugout, there, there's, there's, it's got really nice depth to it. You can see there's a big change of pace. A lot of swing and misses from the big right hand hitters, so that's that's been nice. John's John's got a great changeup. Do you yeah. think do you think he could have influenced that at all? I don't know if you can answer that question. But just being I'm sure around they, John. I mean, I think all starting pitchers talk and try to feed off each other and try to ask each other questions. They're always in the bullpen together, so I haven't asked that specifically, but I'm I'm sure there's been conversations about it. Quick question about rosters being limited to 14 pitchers and then eventually 13 at the end of the, at the end of May. How do you expect that's going to impact your pitch uses for bullpens and offense around the league? Well, yeah, I'm I'm happy that they increase it to 14 pitchers because it gives us uh, the option to to carry an extra pitcher. So I think we're going to go into the see where our pitching is at that point. Pitching constantly changes. We could have. Bunch of starts where guys go six, seven innings, and and maybe we only need 13, or the other way around. So you just you, you kind of never know. Um, but we'll take it series by series with, with the pitching. Do you think it'll stretch you out differently, camper you at all at some point during the year? Not, no, not pitching against the teams we pitch against. Okay. Yeah, I think that we're we kind of go into the series and try to take our starters as long as they can, and um, except for Wellesley. Um But no, I just it's. You're, you're, you're always looking for, for, for extra pitching, to be honest with you. And so, um, you know, to have the, the option to have one more, that's going to be big.